Hello everyone, welcome back to Vegging Out Gardening with me, Kate, where we talk about Zone 5B gardening from week to week. Uh, I've got my tea here and my seeds, and it is a good start to the weekend. Let's see what we got going on here. So week one here is looking pretty good. I just thinned out the lettuce again um, and the spinach. Probably at some point we'll need some thinning out. But our mystery tomato is also looking great. Um, still a little purple underneath, so I might have to give it even more nutrients. Uh, I'm still watering everything with a phosphorus-heavy fertilizer. Um, the tomatoes are actually looking a lot better. A lot greener and a lot less purple. So I'm going to keep watching them and see if they need either more phosphorus or just more nutrients all around in general. So that's week two. Uh, here is week three. Uh, we have our blush onions looking good, kohlrabi, and peppers. This pepper was a very old seed, so I'm not surprised that none of it came up. But the little guys are looking great. Very happy with that. Here's week four. <laughs> As you can see, the pak choy is terribly leggy, so I actually just replanted some of these because this is a little ridiculous, a little unmanageable. Apparently they sprout in the time it takes for you to clean up your mess from planting them. So I've also gotten here kale and the second planting of lettuce. And then back here is the yellow onions the basil and ground cherries, and they're not coming up, so I might start another one of those. But if I remember correctly from last year, they took a really long time, but I, I might just do another planting anyway. Okay, so here are the determinant tomatoes that I have planted. They ended up all fitting in one flat, and some of the seeds are old, so what the heck. So down here is how many days it takes to for the plant to get to maturity. I've got early treat at 49 days, sunrise sauce at 57, easy sauce 65, paisano at 68, fresh salsa hybrid at 70, celebrity at 72, plum regal at 75, and roma at 76. My plan Hello kitten. My plan is to plant them all at the same time. These three I'll be eating first and processing first. I know. And the 68 to 75 day range I'll be eating in the mid and late summer. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to replant these so that I can have this variety in the early summer and in the late summer. So that's the plan. We're going to get two crops of these tomatoes. So that'll be fun. Never done that before. This week I also planted in here bunching onions, which are essentially just really large chives. Um, and in these cell packs I have fava beans or uh, broad beans. I've never grown them before and they're not quite conducive to this environment, so we'll see how it goes. I think they are most commonly grown in um, places like England where the summers are pretty cool and rainy, so we'll see. Um, and then here I have um, the, the redo of the pak choy. So as soon as those sprouts, I can just take these guys out, put them right under the lights, and it sh they should be better. For this next week, I am planning on figuring out how to attach my garden bed frames to the top of my garden beds to create those little um, greenhouses or cold frames. Um, I don't have too much in the way of seeding planned, but in the next few weeks we'll be starting beets, uh, bush beans, peas, probably a second planting of kohlrabi soon. Um, so I'm going to take a look at that schedule and see if I should or can bump any of that up. But as long as it stays kind of warm outside, I'm going to see what I can do outside and take advantage of that time. 
If you have any questions on what you should be doing this week or you're doing something different with your garden, let me know. Have a good week, everyone. Thanks. Bye.